We're continuing our coverage tonight of the Dodgeville Central School District budget. Of course, we've told you about the possible staff cuts and tax increase, but what happens if it doesn't get the community's seal of approval? Ben Dennis found out for us. The Dodgeville Central School District budget includes an 11% property tax increase, but it can only pass if 60% of the public approves it on May 21st. That's because the budget goes over the 2% property tax cap. So what happens if the budget doesn't pass? Then the board and we will come back together and we will make a plan to look at more cuts in the district so we can actually balance the budget based on what we think um, we can go out with a new vote, we can come with a new tax, um, a new tax amount, or we can go straight to the tax cap. Superintendent Lynn Roan says a second budget would likely include more cuts on top of the current proposal, which nixes five and a half teaching positions, eight teacher assistants, plus coaches and counselors. When we looked at the cuts, we tried to keep them as minimal as possible. So if we have to cut more and we have to bring that property tax, the 11% down, we will lose more staff, more programming um, all across the board. What happens is if that second budget is voted down, whether it be at the tax cap or above, we need to go to a contingent budget. A contingent budget puts lots of restrictions on us as to what we can pay and what we cannot pay. Roan says that involves community groups that use a facility on campus for activities. Brownies, Cub Scouts, all of that. We're, we're going to have to charge them to use the facilities, and we haven't done that in the past. On our website at cnyhomepage.com, you can find a breakdown of how much taxpayers could shell out if the current budget passes. In Dulgeville, Ben Dennis, Eyewitness News.